All right, um, so hello, my name is Skylar Hedge. I am part of the MVCTC uh, Vet Science Group. Um, today, my project is on leopard geckos and their substrates. So my abstract is, the purpose of this experiment is to associate the preference and substrates for geckos based on their natural instincts in the wild, naturally to see if they would choose man-made grounding or natural substrate that their instincts tell them. There will be two geckos used about the same age and two different substrates. They will be recorded five times a day on which side they prefer. There will be hides, water, food on both sides to keep all the factors the same. Now based on their native area, they are used to rocky or sandy substrates. We as humans have created artificial sand substrates, but have also made more to suit our pets more comfortably. Padding like reptile carpet or something as simple as paper towels or newspaper are preferred by many leopard gecko, gecko owners as soil and sand can be harmful if ingested by your pets. Now, of course, humans will still prefer the sand over a safe option, but it really comes down to what our animals are more comfortable living in. Since leopard geckos, aka leos, are native to the Middle East, India, Pakistan areas, where it is very hot and humid, most people would assume they like rocky or sandy substrates. My materials and methods, I used two leopard geckos, almost, uh, they were about a year old, Repti carpet, which was my first substrate, that's the man-made, and Echo earth, which was my second substrate, it's the more natural, sandy substrate. And then I used an equally divided tank with the same exact materials. This experiment will be conducted throughout the day as night and night as leopard geckos are crepuscular, meaning they are more active at dawn or dusk compared to night or day. They fit snugly in the middle. I will be recording their preferred side on which they do any normal activities such as eating, sleeping, or drinking, and will add up for each side which they prefer. I will also be using a heating pad under both sides of the tank to ensure both sides are even. My hypothesis is that my leopard geckos will choose the natural substrate over the man-made one because that is what they would be used to. There is my data for day number one, and they both chose the man-made substrate. And then for day two, they chose the man-made three times over the one time they were over on the natural substrate. And then for day three, they both chose the man-made once, and then my one chose the natural one, one side. During this experiment, it showed that they preferred the repti carpet every day, averaged out to be about five times that I saw Cleo on the repti carpet side and five times that I saw Bandit on the carpet side. The average time I saw Cleo on the Eco Earth was one time and two times for Bandit. My conclusion, I gathered that my hypothesis was incorrect because I thought they would prefer the store-bought man-made substrate over their native substrate based on their instincts. Tallying every five hours for three days, I used my two geckos to see based on comfort and their hereditary genes. Maybe it's because the carpet was eas easier to find or maybe they were now used to the carpet. My geckos are also joined at the hip mentally so they are always together. So if one goes somewhere, the other follows. Those are my citations. <coughs> and that is a picture of the repti carpet. It's the man-made substrate. And that is the calcium sand or the more rocky sub. sub uh, sub substrate, and then there's a leopard gecko. What they look like. 